Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract the cat from this gray background, fill it with white, um, add back some shadows, and we're probably going to end up getting rid of these whiskers. We might need to draw them back in. So I'm going to start by going to Topaz Labs Remask. And you're going to draw with the blue magic brush around the perimeter of the cat and sometimes I like to work in the keep mode for this because I can actually see what I'm doing a little bit better. I'm going to make the brush a size where it can go um, halfway over the edge of the animal and halfway onto the background and I'm just going to loosely and quickly just trace around the perimeter of the cat. When we get into the shadow area here, we're going to actually cut the shadow out and paint it back in slightly a little later. Okay, and so when I'm when I'm drawing, I'm being a little jaggedy with my strokes. Um, actually, the more loose you are, the more um, the nicer the extraction is going to be. It's not going to be so stiff. Okay, when it gets to this area where the whiskers are here, I'm just going to like brush out like this with the brush to try and capture most of them, making sure that this area in here is closed in because when I grab this red fill brush and I just drop it on the background here, um, we want to have all of this area closed in or else the red will seep into the cat. So if I go to the try map mode, I can see that this is area we're going to keep, this is going to go away, and this blue area is going to compute. So I'm going to go ahead and say compute mask. And um, it did a pretty good job of extracting out, but I can see that the whiskers are mainly gone here. I can try and get a little bit of it back by taking the green brush and just tapping in right here and see how some of those whiskers, whiskers are coming back. I'm going to keep my brush inside of the cat area. Otherwise, if I go outside of it like that, it's not going to work right. It's going to bring a bunch of the background back along with the whiskers. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm just going to keep... That's about the best we're going to get right there. So I'm just really right now just kind of tapping in areas where um, it seems a little translucent. So that means we're going to lose some of the pixels in the image there. I'm just going to get those back a little bit. Um, and then with the red brush, it's there's not much I need to do right now, but you can kind of see a few areas where um, the background needs to be extracted a little bit more. And again, I'm just kind of tapping and dragging, tap and drag, tap and drag. Okay, you can also go back to the keep window and you can kind of see how it's going to look extracted out on white. This area to me looks a, a little um, shaky, but we'll fix that up a little bit back in Photoshop. I do see that I kind of cut the, cut, the cat's paw off a little bit right there, so I'm going to add that back in. Okay, that's pretty good for now. So I'm going to say OK. It's going to bring me back into Photoshop. And then I am going to now um, add a layer of white between the background and the extracted image. So if I click on the background layer, I add a new fill, solid fill layer of, let's make that pure white. Um, so now we have a really nice extraction here. I'm going to view at 100% by hitting my command one, or you can just go under view 100%. And I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to drag it and I'm going to bring it down to the bottom of the cat here. And what I'm going to do is any like really kind of bad areas where it's kind of jaggedy, I'm going to, um, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go to the background copy layer here, the extracted layer, add a layer mask, and I'm going to paint with black with a soft brush. Um, at a low opacity, like about 10%, and I'm just going to kind of smooth that out a little bit. I'm not going to get rid of it totally, but just kind of smooth those areas out just a little bit. Um, this area here, I think that was part of his tail. It's kind of hard to see what it is, so I'm just going to actually get rid of it all together. See, I went to 100% there to just totally get rid of it. The other areas, I'm just going to smooth out a little. Okay. 
And then now I want to I want to do is to just add some shadow back in from the original image so it looks like a natural shadow. So I'm going to go onto my color fill layer and I want to get rid of some of that color fill so I can get some of the original image back. So on the layer mask I'm going to paint with black so I can kind of cut a hole down into that original image. And I actually zoomed in a little too far to do this um, because when I when you're zoomed in really far, it brings back a lot. I'm going to undo what I just did there. And I'm actually going to just kind of zoom out a little bit. I'm going to bring with the opacity of my brush down to like 10%. I'm going to make my brush a little bigger, probably about this big. And what I'm going to do is just kind of sweep in right here. And I'm just going to paint some of that shadow back in. Okay. I'm going to make a couple just initial sweeps like that. And then I might like get in a little bit closer on these images where um you know there's we know that there's a deeper shadow like right in here i might kind of just paint that back in i'm going to go back in with that brush and just keep brushing until it's faded in and it looks nice like it's a nice graduated shadow you know so like the deep areas, I'm going to paint in a little bit more just to get that shadow just a little bit deeper, just so it looks a little bit better. And then I'm going to increase my brush here and just kind of fade it all off in like that. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to zoom out and see how that looks. That looks ni nice and subtle and natural. Um, sometimes on this color fill, like their mask right here, just to even make it more smooth, I might go um, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just kind of blur it a little bit, like maybe around 30%-ish. Say OK. And that looks pretty good. OK, so now I know I want to go back into this area here where the whiskers are. I'm going to view it at 100%. Again, just do a little check around the image, make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, like this little tiny spot right here I'm gonna get rid of okay and okay so now I'm going back up to the whiskers and I want to just paint those back in I know the rest of my image looks good so I'm gonna go ahead and flatten at this point and I'm gonna add a layer above the cat and this is where we're gonna paint the whiskers okay so I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna turn on this little um, guy right here and this is so this when that's turned on it means that like when you're brushing it's going to taper off at the end and it's going to look more like a whisker naturally what it's going to start out fatter then it's going to go it's going to go then to a smaller tip at the end so i'm going to get rid of that i want to increase my the opacity of my brush probably about 80 percent ish and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to sample the color of the whisker so to sample that. Um, you probably going to have to zoom in pretty far to actually get in on that whisker color. I might even um, want to just go to my color panel here and yeah now we got more of a brown color. I want to make it a little bit darker here and we're just going to see how that goes. I'm going to make this brush really pretty small. I'm going to go back to a hundred percent view here and I'm going to start where this whisker is and I'm actually going to draw over it and I'm just going to like I'm going to press kind of hard when I start and then ease up on the pressure on my pen I'm, I'm drawing with a with a pen stylus pen of course on a on a tablet and I'm going to draw I'm just going to hit kind of hard here and then I'm going to re release up the pressure as I come out like that okay that doesn't look really good I'm going to have to just keep trying this I'm going to make that brush smaller and then be kind of like that that's good and so just kind of randomly drawing out some whiskers here and you can see the whiskers on this side are white so I'm going to take some of these white whiskers and I'm just going to go in like this and again I think you know these look a little bit dark so we'll fix that in a minute so I'm just kind of just randomly drawing just a few whiskers in just like that good okay um, this whisker I think is a little bit dark so I might want to just take my pure white pure white brush and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger change the opacity down like eight ten percent and just kind of like draw in like this to just kind of fade it out just a little bit just like that 
Do you think that looks pretty good? Um, zoom out and I think that's it. We're done with this image. So I'm just going to flatten it and save it.